Now we'll oil the movement using some Mobius oil. After we've oiled it, we'll wind up both springs and then put the movement on the test stand. We'll start to time it and see how it goes. All right, let's start oiling. We want a little bit of oil on the top of each of these pivots. In there. We'll have two dabs. Left two dabs on the back of the spring. Oil in there. Turn it round. Oil that pivot. And that one. The fly pivot is there. There. Got sufficient. And that's a post, so we'll put two tabs on there. And two on the going side spring. Okay, I'll turn that over. We'll do the other side. Sitting flat. Put the oiler up there and off we go again. Two dabs on the winding arbor. Two on the rack. Two on the snail. Oop, one in there. One down under there. Pull that flirt up. And in there. Not much, a little bit more. And on there, let that flirt back. The other side of the fly. Star wheel pinion. One under there. We're starting to run out of oil. Two, because that's a post. A little bit more oil. Now we can get to the back cock pinion now, which is down in there. Down into there. And 
and we've done that side there we'll put a dab on each of these posts that we put in before tied down with a bit of wire and this one in here that one and that one now we're ready to put the hammer on the back and then we'll put it on a test stand We've wound the spring both sides of the clock. Now we'll set the movement up on the test stand. Then tighten it down so it doesn't move. Right, here we have it on the test stand. All we have to do now is add the weight. We can start timing it. We'll go and put it over on the bench with the rest of our test stands and then we'll take a quick video of it. There's our movement running on a test stand. It'll be up there for a fortnight while we adjust the time.